guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. So let's start off with Nicki Minaj because Nicki Minaj has surpassed Adele. So it looks like Super Freaky Girl um, by Nicki Minaj has surpassed Easy On Me and is now the biggest digital sales first week for a solo female song in this decade. Super Freaky Girl did 89 first week, 89,000, and Adele did 74,000. So congratulations to Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj is now coming back and competing with the pop girls uh, because Super Freaky Girl is technically a pop song. It can be pop and urban. Um, so now she's able to compete with the pop girlies. And then on top of that, Beyonce, Nicki Minaj, and Lizzo and Thames are the only women that have earned a number one hit on the Billboard Hot 100 in 2022, okay? So we got the queen of rap, the queen of music, and um, Lizzo, who are topping the charts. So this is a good look for Nicki Minaj, and I would not be shocked if some of the pop girlies are now going to try to collaborate with Nicki Minaj because they see that she's able to get the number one still 14 years in the game. After everybody said that her career was over, she is still winning and persevering. So this ain't going to be her only pop song. Trust and believe. Republic going to make sure she do another pop song. What the fuck is it going to take to get rid of this bitch? You can't get rid of me, bitch. <laughs> Moving on to Cardi B. So um, there are a few fans that are exposing Cardi B on social media. They are alleging that one of her singles that went number one, which was up in 2021, um, the sales were fraudulent. That's what they're saying. They said allegedly due to the generic nature of the song, Atlantic decided to push the song heavily on TikTok. Just like her previous fraudulent hit WAP, Cardi paid influencers on the app to promote and dance challenge to boost its popularity. Then they also said that um, Up has 16 million um, airplays on the radio after three days of its release, okay? Um, but none of these really prove that, you know, the sales were fraudulent, though. I mean, maybe if she allegedly pay the TikTokers, but I don't think that Cardi B pay the TikTokers, okay? If anything, it would be Atlantic. And I don't know if that's technically illegal either, okay? Because there's a lot of loopholes that labels can do to push a song. So that technically is not illegal. Neither is getting 16 million airplays on the radio because we have Lotto who gets 80 million. Okay. Lizzo who gets 80 million airplays on the radio. I do think that it should be the same for everybody if you're signed to a major label, but it's not going to be. It depends on the label that you're signed to. So with that being said, this doesn't necessarily prove that the sales were fraudulent. It just proves that she got a big push. And to be quite honest, I don't even really remember Up. Up wasn't a memorable single. WAP was a moment because of Megan Thee Stallion and them coming together after Megan, you know, was shading her on live um, and in interviews. But um, I don't really feel like Up was a big moment like WAP. So to me, I don't even understand why people are even really discussing Up. Up is old. Moving on to Doja. So it looks like Jid, who worked with um, Doja Cat on Planet Her, um, he said they got another collaboration in the stash, okay? And that they will be working together again. Um, but he just has to allow Doja Cat's voice to heal. Um, it seems like it's healed already. She's been talking, you know, yapping on live. It seems like it's healed already. And she got a festival coming up in September. But I like when they collaborate. Options, to me, was a banger. Unfortunately, Options wasn't a pop record. So it wasn't going to get a big push. 
But um, if you have not listened to Options, Options is a really good song. Go and play it at her. Um, this guy can rap. Um, sometimes he sounds like Kendrick Lamar. I don't know if he'd be copying Kendrick Lamar, but he do sound like Kendrick Lamar's younger brother or like he trying to be like baby, baby King. Um, so I do feel like he copies Kendrick Lamar a little bit cause you know, his flow kind of remind me of Kendrick Lamar. So let me know how you guys feel about them doing a collaboration. The drama continues with Megan Thee Stallion and 1501. More details have come out, and basically, Megan Thee Stallion is suing um, 1501 for a million dollars. She wants a million dollars in damages, and she also wants to be released from her label. She has accused them of linking her album, Traumazine, which technically, I don't know if that was completely true, because I think that only the art cover leaked. I know that Precious leaked. And um, Plan B leaked, but Pressure Licious was trash. You know, it should have been kept in a stash. No shade. It's not like any of the good songs got leaked. Um, with that being said, though, um, something for the thotties, they're debating on whether that counts as an album. Now, when something for the thotties did, what, 30K first week? I remember the thotties saying that it was a mixtape. You know, that's what they had told me. Oh, it's a mixtape. It's not an album. And I remember Megan Thee Stallion saying that on social media, okay? She was like, this is for the thotties. This is a bunch of scrap songs. You know, if you're not a thottie, don't listen to it because, you know, she already knew it was going to flop. So with that being said, I don't think that something for the thotties should count towards um, as being an album because she said it wasn't an album when it flopped, okay? No shade. She said it was a mixtape. Now that... You know, she wants out of her contract. Now it's an album. But you didn't promote it like an album. There was no music videos. There was no radio play. How was this an album? It was giving mixtape vibes to me. No shade. Moving on to Beyonce. So there's this guy that used to manage um, Destiny Childs when they were called Girls Time, which was a lot of years ago. And basically, he said that Beyonce was never supposed to be the lead singer. It was actually another woman. And eventually, she got pulled from the group. Um, she went to college, you know, had an education. But with that being said, um, because Beyonce's vocals were so good from when she was a young age, she became the lead singer. Now, do I completely believe that? No. I do feel like Beyonce was ahead of her time when we're talking about vocals, okay? Because she got better vocals than the J-Lo's, the Shanti's, No Shade, the Christina Millions. And to me, No Shade, vocally, Beyonce has a better voice than Aaliyah. No Shade. I love Aaliyah. You know, rest in peace. But Aaliyah wasn't a singer-singer to me. She was more of a dancer. You know, she had a lot of swag. With that being said, though... Matthew Knowles, her own father, said that if Beyonce was not light-skinned and pretty, she would have never made it in the industry, okay? Even though Beyonce has vocals, so do a lot of other women, but it goes based on looks. And I think that was one of the reasons why she became the lead singer, okay? Not the full reason, but one of the reasons why. And Matthew Knowles even admitted that the reason why Rihanna... And even Nikki and Beyonce are thriving it's because they still look good. You know what I'm saying? They're appealing to a lot of different people. They have sex appeal and that matters. If you don't have sex appeal as a female artist, it's going to be hard for you to thrive. Um, so with that being said, I love Beyonce. I'm giving her the queen of music title back temporarily. Okay. But we cannot ignore that looks don't play a factor. And why certain people get chosen for leads, okay? You know, because Kelly Rowland, she may not have the vocals like Beyonce, but she could sing. She not getting no push. I wonder why, okay? I wonder why Normani not getting no push. Flo Millie not getting no push. So, you know, I love Beyonce. She's definitely more talented than a lot of her counterparts. But it also has to do with looks too. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Have an amazing day.